Hello everyone and welcome to a product video for Goldilocks Automotive. Today we have a very special product to feature. These are from Formula One. And if anyone knows Formula One, it's the pinnacle of motor racing. It's the pinnacle of engineering technology, and it's also the pinnacle of sparing no expense. So today I'd like to show you what we have on offer on our website, and that is some Formula One wheel nuts. These wheel nuts that we have are from the 2016 Manor Formula One team car. We have two colors. We have this blue, and then we also have a racing red color. Now these are extremely rare and I wanted to show everyone the engineering that goes in these just in case you can't get your hands on one. So let's take a look at the blue one first and we'll kind of pull out some of the uh, main engineering focuses and then we will also start to look at the differences and you can actually start to pull out the provenance or exactly what happened when these were used. So the wheel nuts are two parts. There is the main wheel nut part and then there is the bearing. Now typically, the wheel nut does not separate from the actual wheel itself. In fact, they're pressed in with this bearing. So for example, you can imagine the center, this whole assembly is pressed in to the wheel housing. When the wheel gun grabs onto the teeth during a pit stop, it'll spin the wheel nut and it will spin within this bearing loosening the threads and the whole wheel including the bearing and hub assembly will come off and a new tire and new hub is put back on. Let's take a look at the wheel nut itself. So the wheel nut is made out of aluminum and it was likely an entire cylinder of aluminum, one full billet piece. It was turned on a lathe, first the outer diameter here including going along here. And then the inside was also turned out. Now you can see some clever machining around the inside, as well as a very coarse thread pitch. The thread pitch is coarse because it will take fewer revolutions of the wheel gun to remove the wheel nut itself. We can also see some interesting machine work. So inside, and we'll get some nice macro shots as well. You can see a bunch of holes around, set in an array around the center of the hub. Now, I don't know the full technical documentation on this, but likely it's to improve cooling airflow for the brakes. Now, it's quite interesting to get down a machine in there. This would have been put on a CNC, and each of these fingers would have been carved out by a mill. When we flip back over, we can see those holes continue back in, which kind of demonstrates that there are some cooling benefits here. You can certainly understand why each of these wheel nuts cost Manor F1 team 800 Great British Pounds to manufacture. Now, I'd like to bring in the other wheel nut. On the edge of all the wheel nuts, there is, in fact, a serial number. In this case, it is L78. And as well, this one is also L78. Now what that means is likely these two wheel nuts were placed on the car at the same time. Why is that interesting? Well, if we take a look at some of the differences, first let's look at the bearing of this wheel nut and we'll compare it with the bearing of the other wheel nut. Here we can see some slight differences in the coloration on each of the wheel bearings. The wheel nut bearing from the red wheel nut is a much more gold color. Now, generally speaking, when metal gets discolored, it means it's heating up and there are certain colors that we can deduce how hot this wheel bearing nut got. This is what we would consider a straw tempering color versus there's maybe a light straw color on here, but definitely less so than the red one. And what we can infer from this is that this particular wheel nut probably got stuck. 
or it was difficult to pull out. We can see further evidence of this on the fingers of the wheel nut. And if we compare those to the fingers of the blue one, we can see that the anodization is still relatively intact. What we can see here is that likely the gun came in and for whatever reason this did not want to turn. It doesn't appear that it was cross-threaded as the actual threads are still in pretty good condition. What's nice about each of the wheel nuts that we have for sale is they're all unique. Each wheel nut tells a different story and they were all used in a practice, qualifying, or Grand Prix session. With each wheel nut, we offer a certificate of authenticity to ensure that you know our products come directly from the Formula One team. The certificate of authenticity shows the color, the serial number, the weight, the material, as well as the auction number where these were purchased from. These were sourced from the Manor Formula One team auction in 2017 when they liquidated their assets under the Gordon Brothers auction house. Now typically, when a Formula One team comes into financial trouble, they get bought out. We can see this with Virgin Racing, then Manor Marussia, and then finally, Manor F1 team. Now unfortunately, no one was able or no one was willing to purchase this team to keep them out of liquidation or bankruptcy. So in this case, all of Manor F1 team's assets were sold at auction. This included all their 2017 technology, their 2016 car, steering wheel, suspension, carbon fiber bits, exhaust, computers, stools, whatever. Goldilocks Automotive was fortunate enough to buy a select few of the wheel nuts. We were also able to buy a racing exhaust used on the 2016 Manor Mercedes car. Typically when Formula One parts come up for sale on the market, they're generally older from the 1980s, 1990s, and if you're fortunate enough, from the early 2000s. It is extremely rare and difficult to get current era Formula One parts. Act fast as these are extremely rare and will not be sold anywhere else. If you would like to purchase our Formula One wheel nuts, go to our website at goldilocksautomotive.com.